a very small garden, madam. Could I offer you a cup of tea, perhaps, Elaine? Absolutely not. I need to speak to Miss Elizabeth Bennet alone, as a matter of urgency. I'm very proud. Well, <laughs> I have fought against my better judgment, my family's expectation, the inferiority of your birth, my rank and circumstance, all these things, and I'm willing to put them aside and ask you to end my agony. I don't understand. I love you, Chip. Could you expect me to rejoice in the inferiority of your circumstances? And those are the words of a gentleman. From the first moment I met you, your arrogance and conceit, your selfish disdain for the feelings of others, made me realise that you were the last man in the world I could ever be prevailed upon to marry. You insist upon them marrying. Papa, please. You will have this house. I can't marry you. And save your sisters from destitution. I can't. Go back now and say you've changed your mind. No. Think of your family. You cannot make me.